Hello everyone, here's your Southeast Idaho weather planning briefing for Monday, June 17th. Warm conditions continue, but showers and thunderstorms, at least for the early part of the week, will continue across the area. Now, midweek, meaning Wednesday, it will be pretty much dry across the area. Maybe a few showers and storms lingering up near Island Park. But hey, guess what? Summer starts later this week, and believe it or not, we're actually looking at potential for some mountain snow across the region. Taking a look at the satellite picture, you can see we have a little disturbance over our area this morning. That's continuing with a little bit of shower activity for us, but not a whole lot across the area. But as you'll see, we'll continue with more showers and thunderstorms as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. There will be a few showers over the eastern highlands this morning. We're also watching some dying showers over the central mountains. A few of those have already pushed out into the Arco Desert, so those may trickle through the next couple of hours across, or at least the first couple hours here right around sunrise coming in across the Snake Plain. But you'll notice we get in the afternoon, things start heating up. We get those showers and thunderstorms. They'll be drifting from northwest to southeast across the area. We'll probably see some across the Snake Plain again today, especially when we get some outflow going. Uh, like yesterday, some of these storms may have some small hail, a brief burst of rain. Uh, not expecting a whole lot of wind. We could see some of the storm with some gusts over 30 miles per hour, but I think a lot of the storms may see gusts remaining below that level for today. We go into the overnight hours. We'll see some showers and thunderstorms continuing across the area, and those thin out a bit, but don't be surprised with seeing some lingering overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. And then you guess what? We heat up. We see more showers and thunderstorms picking up across the area, especially in the highlands, looking for a few to sna sneak across the snake plain in the eastern highlands by the time we get into Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning across the area. Precipitation amounts to go with these storms generally under a tenth, but especially for stronger storms today, we may see some rainfall amounts between a tenth and a quarter of an inch, maybe not as much as we go into Tuesday across the area. Now, like I said, Wednesday's fairly dry. There might be a few little thunderstorms up around Island Park and the Centennials, but you'll notice we'll go into Thursday here, and you'll notice, yes, the blue on the map means snow, and that goes into Thursday across northern areas. The coolest and wettest day across the board is going to be in going into Friday and can tell you some of those snow levels by the time we get to Friday morning. Believe it or not, we're talking snow level 6,500 to 7,500 feet. So hey, snow in June, we've had it already once. Might as well start out summer with a little bit of different weather across the area. It's been that way pretty much all spring. And then they rebound by Friday afternoon and evening right around 7,500 to 8,500 feet across the region. And then as we go into the weekend, showers and thunderstorms do diminish except across the, the mountains. I think Saturday and Sunday we'll probably see a little more activity across the Snake Plain that's showing up on the current. Uh, this is some of the uh, one of the forecasts we look at in the extended. May see a little more across the Snake Plain, but showers and thunderstorms will continue. It eventually does warm up across the area, and you'll notice, uh, and we'll talk about at least for the next couple of days, uh, temperature-wise, highs pushing into the 80s across portions of the lower uh, Snake Plain in the Magic Valley. We'll push a few 80s tomorrow a little bit more across the area at the lower elevations. And Wednesday, we start to cool back across the area. Now, we talked about Thursday and Friday being cool. Friday, don't expect it to get out of the 60s across the lower elevations. And believe it or not, if you're going up to places like Bora Peak, that elevation be prepared for some pretty cold weather. It may not even get out of the 30s at those elevations during that particular period as well. I want to go back and show you the winds. Wednesday and Thursday are going to be pretty breezy across the areas. We see the onset of that storm moving in. Here are the wind gusts for Wednesday afternoon. This is noon. We're already seeing some gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour. By later Wednesday into Wednesday evening, some gusts 35 to 45 miles an hour, a pretty much a repeat on Thursday. So if you're going to be out boating, uh, out around, it may be pretty choppy across those areas during both of those days. If you have any questions, please call us, send us emails. But We're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I hope everyone has a great day out there, and please stay safe.